Alright guys, uh, I'm here to talk about my day at Meth in San Diego. Uh, Meth is everything that you heard on YouTube and from people that maybe I have went. It was, um, it was long, it was a lot of waiting. And, yeah, this is how my, 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 my whole day, well, I'm gonna give you, like, little details that I remember. Um, fucking, I left my house around 2 a.m. I mean, I left my recruiter office around 2 a.m. That's when he took us down there to San Diego. We got there around like 5.30, I should say. And then uh, we sat in the parking lot. We waited for more people to come to do the entry process. And so around 5.45, 6 o'clock, that's when, you know what I'm saying, we actually started getting started. That's when we went through the doors at MEP. There was two groups of people that was up there when I was there. There was people that was leaving that day, and there was people that was about to uh, do the entry process and so um, we went through the door we put our stuff down on like a little scanner thing so they can x-ray our stuff or whatever they do just a little scanner and um went got uh, the little metal scanner detect thing make sure you got no weapons and shit we did that right and um they sent us to this room I remember follow the green arrow so we followed the arrow to the hallway, bam, bam, and that's where they took our um, fingerprint and picture of our face for the FBI stuff. And then they sent me to my Navy recruiter office to get the rest of my paperwork so I can start my medical stuff. So um, sent me to my, med my, my, my recruiter station place, picked up my stuff, picked up all my shit, and then uh, I went to this other room for the medical briefing on what to expect and what we're going to do and yada 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 blah 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 and um they talk about that for a good 30 to 45 minutes expect to be in our room for a cool minute right and then while you're in our room you're going to be filling out information you're going to be just following along because he's going to have like slide by slide by slide on where you should be and yeah just follow along it's not hard at all uh after all that uh, they give you, um, what's she called? What's that alcohol part? Well, they give you a breathalyzer test, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you wasn't drunk or you're not drunk, because that shit, I guess, will fuck up your day, you know what I'm saying? And, um, fucking, um, what was that? Oh, after that, I went to go and do my hearing part, and that shit was simple. You know, even if you, I, I, I swear to you, even if you hear the tiniest little ring or bell, or if you think you hear something, press that bitch. What is Jesus? If you think you hear something, just press it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, did that, and after that, um, went to go get my eye checked. I don't know, had a brain fart. Went to go get my eyes done. Make sure, uh, they check to see if I can have good eyes, but. Get some I'm, I'm, I'm short sighted, I guess, and you can't see far. But I can see close. I can read close shit. I can't read far things. So get some near sighted video. And as the day goes, they give you like, 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 like your name and like a barcode with like I think a social. And then they give you like this strip, a long strip of like I think like four or five blocks. And each time you complete the station, you, you get marked out for it. So say. If you do like the vision, I got like a blue mark for it. The hearing got like a green mark for it. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> and so they do that for each one. You know what I'm saying? For like the physical, um, the piss test and all that. So after I got my vision checked out, I have went to go and do my piss test. Honestly, 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 it wasn't that tough though, man. Everybody makes it seem like, oh, it was so awkward, I couldn't do it, it took me blah, blah, blah. So he, he, he wasn't even looking at me, you know what I'm saying? He was like, 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 I'm right here, and do it at my stairs, right? And he just made sure that you just don't swap pits. He don't sit there and, like, watch your dick while you piss, you know what I'm saying? He just makes sure that you don't swap the piss out with somebody else or, or some weird, you know what I'm saying? And so that part was nerve-wracking, um... After that, they sent me to get my blood, my uh, blood drop. So, I mean, I don't got no bruise from it, but I thought it was. I thought dude was missing. Like, like dude, 
Like, <laughs> I swear to God, to you. Like, 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 pretend it's the needle, right? Dude unhooked the needle and was like, Shh. and like, stabbed me with that shit real quick. Like, damn, man. And he kept moving my arm, like, 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 he missed a vein or some shit. And he's pumping blood. He's like, hey, I think this is good. I think this might be good enough. And I'm just standing there like, dude, I fucking hate needles. Let's just continue our practice and get it over with. So after that, dude told me, you know what I'm saying, uh, just go back and take a seat. So as I'm walking to the um, chairs, somebody else told me like, uh, yeah, just go to the first building on the right. I mean, the first room on the right. Don't even knock, just walk up in there. So I walk in there, as soon as I open the door, no joke, I open the door, all I hear was strip your drawers or strip your underwear or undress, socks and everything. So you just in your boxes, you know what I'm saying? Just in your box, big dangling or whatever, just in your box. No shirt, no tank top, no shoes, no socks, no nothing. And so dude had to do some weird stuff, like he just um did some weird shit, like the duck walk, that's fucking weird. And um I guess you have to like I I guess you gotta test your knees some somehow like it was weird how they tested your knees like like you got like like I can like squat down or some shit and like just drop on your knees and make a thump on the ground with your knees. And so we did that, that was weird. Um did squats. We just did basic shit to fucking um to see if our muscles was working and properly right, if our bones was right. And then uh what else happened after that? Oh, and then they sent us to this room. I remember it was the door on the left side. And, um, they were checking our ears, our mouths, our jaw, to see if anything's fucked up, anything. And it's funny because they told this one dude, like, yo, you got too much, you got so much wax in your ear, I can't find your eardrum. Like, damn, that much, that much fucking sucks. And I talked to him later, and he said he got to come back in like a dozen week or some shit. Up. And then um, after that left room, we headed to the room on the other side of the room. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was a left door and there was a door on the right. So we went to the right door. And that's where it got awkward. Alright, I'm going to tell you this. If you hear somebody say, I'm going to use my small thumb for you to like put up your ass or touch your balls. That shit is kind of awkward. It was this dude who was like 40, 42. And I guess he was kind of reenlisted to the Air Force. And you know how if you're over 40, you gotta get tested for a prostate or some shit like that. And so, dude, dude, dude did his physical, you know what I'm saying? Did the finger on the balls, cough, <laughs> he did all that. And then I heard the doctor say, I'm gonna use my small thumb for you. Like, that's some kind of fucking, like, that's supposed to make it easier to like take in. I don't know, that shit made me uncomfortable. And pretty much, going, you go in that room, drop the draw. I guess it's called nuts to butts, nuts to butts, drop the draws. Dude told me to plug my mouth, plug my nose, turn right, cough, cough, cough. And this one made it weird, and he was just like, bend over, doing on, he was like, turn around, bend over, and stretch the cheeks. That shit made a lot of people feel awkward because a lot of people talk about that afterwards. Like some people would like creep out about it and some people would joke about it. It was pretty funny when I heard people joke about it because this shit was kind of funny how they were saying it. Like dude didn't ask for my name, he just, he just handled me, you know. It was funny, it was funny. And um, after that, um, after that part, uh, put my clothes back on. Went outside, um, and just waited, and just waited, waited for somebody to call my name so I can take my job. Uh, I met a couple cool people there, there was some fucking weird ass people too. I met, on um, who was it, um, David, David something, he's going to the army, he shipped out, uh, he shipped out Tuesday, yesterday, so, congratulations to him. And then this dude, he was fucking weird. I didn't want to know his name. He was just awkward. Most of them just awkward. Like, you can just talk, talk about nothing. And then I met this girl named Miranda over by my area, Apple Valley. And uh, she went 
to the Navy that Tuesday too. So pretty good two days for for those people. And um, yeah, I didn't even get to pick my job. I scored a 46. I scored a shitty score, so I wasn't faking like a great job or nothing. But they was telling me like, hey, pretty much you're not hiring for nothing that you qualify for. So I'm like, fuck, damn, fuck, shit takes pocket. Nah, I gotta wait. Well, I'm gonna just retake the ads. I told my recruiter I don't wanna retake it, so now I'm going to uh, retake my practice test on Monday, this upcoming Monday, and hopefully I can get down there by the next Monday or this upcoming Monday. Who knows? I'm hoping. Yeah, and that's it, really. That's pretty much it. The day I met. And from, I'll say, from 6 to 10, it was pretty busy. Like, like, it was pretty busy. I wasn't really all that bored because once I got done talking to somebody, I was off to another station. Oh, and I forgot that after I got my blood drawn, I went to go talk to a doctor. And he asked me questions like, you ever smoke marijuana? You ever, yeah, 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 blah, 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 jibba, jibba, jibba. He just asked me the same fucking questions that you answer with your recruiter. No fucking joke. They asked you the same thing three times because I went back to my recruiter office they asked me the same fucking question that doctor and my first recruiter asked me no fucking joke they tell you the same thing three fucking times and yeah pretty much from from 10 10 to about 3 I just sat there waiting watching TV playing cards and shit um that was it and um, the, 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 the food I missed, well, when I went, I don't know if it's different, but we had Subway and shit. Had about a six inch sandwich, some drink soda and shit. Wasn't bad, it was cool. But yeah, that's my day I met. Hopefully I can uh, join soon. That's what I'm waiting for, man. That's all I've been thinking about. No joke, this Navy shit is driving me nuts. That's all I think about. I eat, sleep, shit, shower, Navy. You know, that's all I think about. Bitches? No. You know what I'm saying? Video games? No. Money? No. Fucking Navy. I am a United States sailor. I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will obey the orders by those appointed over me. I represent the fighting spirit of the Navy, those who don't perform me to defend freedom and democracy around the world. I proudly, I proudly support my country's Navy compact team with honor, courage, and commitment. I am committed to excellent and fair treatment of all. Learned that shit easy, you know what I'm saying? That's all I've been fucking focused on is the Navy, Navy, Navy. I don't care about school, I don't care about work, I don't care about my credit, I don't care about my bills. I'm just worried about the fucking Navy, because that's my future, goddammit. Preach on, brothers. <laughs> that shit's funny. But, uh, I don't know. Learn that shit, fuck it. Watch the video, so yeah, that's just about it. My uh, my, my day at MEP, and uh, I hope you have a better one, expect to meet some weird ass people. I mean, expect some cool people, but then some <laughs> weird individuals. But yeah, that's it. I'm not going to talk much. I've been talking for a good like 13 minutes, so two fingers, peace out. I'll see you there, buddy.